Hello everyone, we're going to do the Chieftain Mark III again. This is possibly the best game I've had solely in the Chieftain. Um, I've had other games which hopefully I'll put up later where I've used other tanks as well as this and some aircraft, but this is solely the Chieftain gameplay today. Um, I've been grinding it, it's been fun. I've been finding its weaknesses as well. Um, it really doesn't like getting shot in the hull by anything that's Russian or German because that usually ends with death and burning mainly um, especially the Russian tier 5 anti-aircraft the Zeus 57s they are lethal but you know they're made of paper so you can usually put some rounds into them and stop them but if they shoot you in the um, engine block you're going to burn and you're probably going to die after losing all your crew and just get continued pummeled still at least you get some nice credits for it gone a slightly different way this time um, we're going up the hill and see whether we can snipe from height because the gun depression on this is fantastic. We're on Carpathians and it is mixed battle top tier um, against the Germans. Hopefully up here I'll be able to get hauled down and snipe or at least from cover from when they're not expecting. But there doesn't seem to be any traffic and the bushes are in the way so I can't actually see anything. So I decide to move down with the other tanks from the team and the AIs and see if I can support. See a panther. Put a round in him, it's probably an AI. Yep. Have we got anyone else? About this point, usually, I'll get a shell through the um, front of the tank and die horribly. So it makes a nice change not to. can't see anything at the moment so I decide to move up across the hill here up to where that Sherman is on the top and see if I can shoot down into the valley and get any side on hits with anyone. Oh shot there see the smoke from the um, gun it looks like it's a leopard can't see because of the Sherman. Move up. Yep, it's a leopard and it's turrets back to me. Take the shot, goes into the back of the turret, bounces down and takes out the turret ring. Next round goes into the engine block, sets them on fire, takes out the turret ring again for the third shot. Reloads quickly. Am I going to get reloaded in time? No, someone else gets him. So move forward, see if there's any more traffic. Oh, AI. Yep. And goes through the back of the turret. Does no damage. Pull forward. And not a lot. Shot goes through the ammo rack and does doesn't blow it up. Typical. And get another kill assist on an AI. At this point I haven't noticed what's down to my right. Ah, there he is. See him as he fires. It's the new Jag Panzer um, tank destroyer, which is lethal. First shot takes out the gunner and the um, damages the breach. Fires the coax and the machine gun on him to try and keep him occupied. Next shot goes through, takes out the crew and the ammo, which is nice. First kill. See another target up in the distance. It looks like it's a Panther II. First round goes low and left. Takes his track out. Readjusts the aim. And straight through, taking out the gunner, the commander. And does a lot of internal damage, but still not killed him. That's definitely the problem with the um, shells on the Chieftain and the sort of high-tier British tanks, is that there's no explosive. So if you don't go straight through the ammo rack or the fuel tank, you're unlikely to get a first kill. So you have to put two or three shots into him. And there's the last shot and takes out the rest of the crew. So that's two kills, and so far I've not taken a hit, I don't think. 
slowly move up. You can see that the um, teammates have moved forward on the left through the valley and through that little canyon where my um, teammate is pushing up towards the cap. So I decide to move forward and see what I can get. Carry on driving, get into a little bit of cover. Oh, see a target there, is he dead? Yes, so that was a wasted shot. So carry on moving forward. You could hear the Kugel Blitz firing and the tank that was in front of me has been killed by the Kugel Blitz. Uh, losing some more teammates. There's also an aircraft flying around the Horton causing trouble. There's another issue I've got with the Chieftain, is that there's no um, machine gun on the um, commander's hatch, which would be really useful for anti-air. Which I can't see why they can't, why Gaijin can't put it in, make everything that much easier. And give them a little bit of defence against any air attacks. So, I know there's a tank across here, I've seen him put a round in, and take out his turret ring and two of his crew. Turn to Hesh, shot goes into the turret, does some damage, but doesn't kill the doesn't kill the tank. Hesh is really, really poor at the moment. Yeah. It's really it's just pointless. You know, a Hesh round into that, first one would have killed them all. See, so still getting far even though I've put four rounds of Hesh into him. Last round goes through and slightly damages a fuel tank. So now he's firing at me, he's taken off my track. Another round, now firing Sabo rounds, goes into the crew. Carry on firing. And finally, take out another member of the crew and take out the ammo rack. So seven rounds into him, and I've got 15 rounds of Sabo left. Just waiting for my track to repair right out in the open, which is never a good idea to be when there's leopards and other German tanks lurking. But I seem to be okay at the moment. Notice that my gun da barrel's damaged as well. At least the M60 up on my right will be able to spot anyone and shoot down onto them if he doesn't get killed. At least give me some cover. Five seconds to reload, reload, repair, and we're off again. Hopefully, yep, yeah, there we go. So, finish the repair, start moving forward. Someone's firing down there, an artillery going down. So, you have to apologise, I'm watching this on a small screen on the replay so I think there's a leopard down there yep there he is moving and take out his engine set him on fire so I can see him now ready put another round in him he's fired he's bounced off me and take out his gunner and his loader fuel tank and some ammo he's still firing put another round in him and taking him out now if you can aim to the right hand side of the um front of the leopard that's where their ammo rack is so that's usually a one shot kill if you can get it in there and it's the left hand side on a T-54 so carry on moving forward take a fire, take a shot from the right up on the hill and this cannon breach is gone so I have to start repairing what I should have done was got into cover and he's now taken out my driver and I've lost another crew member in the turret which is probably the loader Putting the coax in the machine gun. Oh, and I've lost. Right, so, got a driver and a gunner, and now I'm getting fire from the um, 
AA there, which I think is the tier five one. Oh, oh crap, there's a leopard there. Fire, blow up the breach. And I've now got an 80 second reload and I've knackered the barrel. So by right, I should be dead whenever the um, Jag Panzer or the um, Leopard stick the head up and take a shot. I've got a minute left to reload, uh, to repair. So barrel's repaired, so I can fire now. But, and the gunner is in his seat, because I'm down to the last man. But I have only got one crew member left, so that means reload is incredibly long. And if he dies, I'm out. So, first shot goes in and just takes, damages the top of his turret. He's in a fantastic position there. He's very hard to hit. And I've only got 10 rounds of Sabre around. So, he's just damaged my tracks, set the engine on fire. So, I've had to repair that. So, I'm now repairing. And because I've had to stop and repair, for some reason, it thinks I need to reload as well. So, I've got to wait through the reload process again. Take another shot, ricochets off the roof. Great. The M60 is still up, causing trouble on the right. The leopard's the more of a the um, serious threat at the moment, so focus on him, wait for the reload, take a shot. Got very lucky there. Took usually it's one or two sh it's usually two or three shots, not the one on there. Still getting shot at it from the Jag Panther. Take a shot. Straight through the middle. Lucky again that didn't bounce. And takes out his crew, set him on fire. So the AA is still there. He's taken out both my tracks. Well, one track's repaired now. Oh, and I've managed to take out both these gunners now. So that should take a little while for them to reload. And get some more crew members in. Shot out by whirlwind, take out his radiator. Still there, come on, reload, reload, reload. Hiding behind the trees now, can't see him, but the joys of having coax and a machine gun on it, is you can see where he is. Right, take out his machine gun on a track, so he's now stationary. And because he's firing at me, I know roughly where he is, so I can carry on launching the. Um, Machine gun at him to keep him pinned and keep him up there. So the next shot goes in, takes out all his crew but one. So now I've got to try and work out where to shoot him to take out the rest of him. So do I take out the gunner? Try to. Put round through his turret. Yep. And it doesn't kill him. Typical. So I'm now down to two rounds yep two rounds takes him unfortunately the other chieftain mason manages to take him out for me so i've got one round left the only way i can um, reload is to either go back all the way to b or to go and cap so i decide to go and cap so i need to um Get the gunner to move the driver in. Oh, shot from the bomber. Ah! Have you ever seen anything so lucky as that? Two bombs bounce off the tank, land within 10 metres, both go off, and do no damage other than blowing a track off. I'm pretty certain there have been bombs dropped 100 metres from me that have killed me before in this, but for some reason, no. I'm invincible today. Obviously the crumpet armour is obviously working very well. So, another 40 seconds to reload. I'll just fast forward this bit because it does take a while. Right, back in the game, only, in a, only a minute later, because you've then got to get the driver back in his seat. Decide to move around and start heading towards a to cap.
trying to keep an eye out because if anyone does appear I am stuffed because it will take absolutely ages for the gunner to get in and I'm not quite sure whether the gun's reloaded and I've only got one round left anyway so as I come round here keeping an eye out just in case someone spawns and I just see oh crap it's a Ferdinand so stop the tank get the gunner back into his position hoping against hope that the Ferdinand doesn't see me and start turning someone puts a round into him so I've got to try and work out where it is excellent put a round in take out his radiator and his fuel tank he's on fire and can't put the fire out in time very very lucky there so I've now got no rounds left so move to the driver and move around to A and try and cap So I'll just fast forward the drive from the um, where I was to here. Basically there's two guys left, one of which is in an aircraft and the other one is in the tank lurking somewhere. So park up using the tank in front of me as a meat shield. Dornier drops some bombs, he's obviously hit and down he comes. Bombs miss everyone and the B-57 gets another kill. Move the gunner up into the um, gunner's position. So at least if the other guy turns up, I can turn the turret towards him to scare him and find the machine gun at him if I spot him. But looks like we're going to cap because there's three of us in there and he's only going to get one shot off before we cap. Oh, and the B-57's just got shot down trying to hit the um, airfield. That'll teach him. And that's the zone captured. And that is the battle. So, what did we learn? Um, the Chieftain's gun is very powerful, but doesn't have the explosive power to get one-shot kills. I managed to get seven ground targets destroyed and get four assists. Capture a zone and get 33,000 um, points. And that translates to, including premium, 41,000 credits and a crap load of awards so, adamant multi-strike supporting fire tank rescuer professional and the best squad and yeah so that was rather a good game so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and the chieftain really is worthwhile going to get it is a special tank but it's got some major flaws with its rather weak armour and its rather weak um, ammunition at times. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.